Hi there, I'm Rachel Marshman. I'm Product Manager for The Sims Assessment and Performance Suite. And today I'm going to show you how to create really useful dynamic groups within Sims Discover to help meet your Ofsted requirements. Let's take a look. In an inspection, you need to show that you're helping every pupil progress. And did you know that Sims Discover can help you with this? To launch Sims Discover, click on the icon within Sims, and this will open up the Discover canvas. From within here, if I want to create a dynamic group, I will simply click on the groups cog to the far right and choose the create a new discover group option from here. This is my starting point. I then want to look at my pupil premium information today. So I'm going to pull out my key pastoral factors graph and I'm looking at my pupil premium children which will appear here on the left hand side. To create my dynamic group I will select this bar within the graph and drag and drop it onto my discover group. By saving and making sure that the option is dynamic, I will call this PP and I'm going to call it new because I've actually created a few pupil premium options so far. If I flag to let the system alert me when someone has joined the group and when someone leaves the group, it means I'll receive an alert on the home page as this group changes. And then if I click save. Next I want to look at my non-pupil premium so I can compare how my children perform from the group to the non-group. Here I'll need to pick my whole school graph and then combine the information from my whole school by dragging this section onto the canvas and then putting my pupil premium information onto the whole school graph to create a Venn diagram showing me my pupil premiums to my non-pupil premiums. Here I can select my non-pupil premium children and then save this as a dynamic group and call it non-pupil premium and save. Once I've done that, the groups then become available within Sims. Here I can receive alerts on my home page that will tell me when a group changes. So as, as and when a group membership changes, I will know straight away on my home page. I can then assign supervisors to receive an alert as well by going into focus groups and discover groups picking a group here and then assigning a supervisor in this panel here. I can also access my group analysis and then choose the groups that I've set up by clicking on rows, expanding the discover panel and adding in any of the groups that I've just created. So I've got my pupil premium and my non-pupil premium and applying. These groups then will show you your key information relating to all of your subjects. So you can look at attainment or progress side by side. I hope you enjoyed learning how to set up your Discover Dynamic Groups to meet your Ofsted requirements. Now, if you're interested in more assessment related features, please keep an eye out for the new assessment related Did You Know videos coming soon.